Easy. Budget. Shot. Don't get set. Clean the set. What would I plan on doing to increase both the employment rates for youth and adults? You know, I have a plan specifically around economic development that I think will help all of our neighborhoods. The city of Boston has over a billion dollars that we have deposited in financial institutions and banks. But in fact, we don't know if these banks do any investment or any lending to our neighborhoods. So we don't know if they lend to small businesses that hire people. We don't know if they lend to homeowners so people can set stable routes. We don't know if they, what their ideas around foreclosure are. Are they part of the problem? Or are they part of the solution? We don't even know if they hire Bostonians. My plan says that if you want access to that $1 billion, you have got to tell us what you're doing in our neighborhoods. And we will only do business with the banks that are doing business with Boston. And I th in order to increase the employment rate of youth and adults, we need to support our training programs. Madison Park um, is an example of that. We're sitting here in the media center, and Madison Park's Will Tech program needs to be supported. It needs to be given um, the opportunity to succeed. Uh, we have an opportunity for Madison to work with RCC in creating a pipeline to work, a uh, pipeline to careers, and we need to make sure that that works. Part of it, though, is making sure that the employers are engaged in the curriculum development and making sure that we are actually providing the kind of quality instruction and quality experiences that will make sure that our students and our adults can, can actually get the jobs that are out there and not just the training, not just the certificates. Uh, we, we have in the medical center, in the medical area of Boston, uh, more than a thousand jobs open per year. Uh, new jobs that are created per year, 8,000 jobs that are open annually. Uh, I think there's about a thousand jobs open any single day in, in, that, in, that, uh, in that area. So that's the hospitals, that's the research firms, the biotech firms. So why aren't we putting people to, do, to, to, to work there? Why can't Boston not find the kind of training needed in that outreach when you have people who need jobs and you have employers who are looking for good employees? And as mayor, I would promise that uh, I will make sure that we have the programs, the pipelines, and the kind of relationships that put people in jobs. I'd like to begin partnerships, again, with all of our schools, with uh, private sector businesses, with colleges and universities, with uh, trade unions and community-based organizations that will create job pathways uh, for young people. I'd like to convert summer jobs to year-round jobs and give everyone uh, all of our young people who want to work, the ability to work and make a wage while going to school and hopefully develop skills that can take them to college or to a high skill, high wage uh, job. I want to keep businesses uh, in Boston and really work hard to keep uh, businesses in software and technology and the creative economy here in Boston. But I, I want to get agreements with all those companies uh, to help fund workforce training for adults and for young people. Uh, and create pathways, partnerships, and agreements that when they fund those workforce, tra the, uh, workforce training programs, that they will lead to jobs at companies in Boston uh, when people complete those programs. To increase the employment rate for youth and adults, we have to create new industry in Boston. We have to create more opportunities. And I think, you know, one of the things as mayor of Boston, we have the, the job as mayor is to attract new businesses into Boston and also new business in, businesses into some of our neighborhoods. And I think that that's a way to start. We have to bring the businesses here so it gives more opportunity for young people and adults to have employment. I also, as far as young people go, want to look at more mentoring, year-round mentoring programs. So when the summer job ends, there's an opportunity to work through the school year and certain hours. I think that that's a very important piece of this. So as they're making decisions, as they get to 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade particularly, they're understanding kind of where they want to go in their life. And I think that would be extremely helpful. We need youth jobs, summer jobs, that are more than just go to this community center and hang out over there. No, we need youth jobs, really targeted, interesting youth jobs that engage and, and are, are just so much more than a job, but are possibly a, a portal to a brand new career for a young person. A kid who lands that summer job and that year-round job, that's a life-changing opportunity. Every single one of those summer jobs should be a life-changing opportunity. And we have that opportunity in this city. There are so many startups and so many new tech companies and young companies growing in the city that actually would love to get one, two, three, four students, young kids, into their doors. I think if we want a thriving society, we have to bring in our young people. And we need to have them um, involved as decision makers, not just as 
you know, people who are receiving services and programs. That's my view. I want to have them be the service providers and the decision makers and the problem solvers. And I think that um, with this office, we're going to be able to do that. Obviously, um, high on the list of priorities is going to be around jobs, but not just summer jobs, also year-round jobs. And I, we will focus on young people from ages 14 to 24, although there'll be young people, surely, who will seek out our services and support who are younger or maybe um, young adults who are beyond 24 who also want to get information and things like that so we won't close the doors to them. We have to make sure that our young uh, kids have opportunities. Um, the way to do that is really partnering up with our local businesses and industry, asking them to shoulder some of the load, some of the burden. The private industry council does a lot of this work. Um, I want to give kids meaningful internships, even if they're unpaid. That might lead an on, uh, as an entree into a paying position. I mean, I've had that happen in my office. I've, give, I've given young people who are Boston residents opportunities to come in and intern. And then we see something in them, some real promise, some value added, and we're able to create a job for them or help them in that, in, in that position. With, with respect to our adult population, you know, who may not be working right now, if you talk to businesses in our city, there are jobs out there. Here's the problem. Our, our, the people that are looking for work and the people who want employees, there's a mismatch in talents and abilities. So if you've already graduated from high school, if you've already even graduated from college but you can't find work, or you dropped out of school and you're not working, we need to invest in job training. I'd like to partner with our universities and our employers to find out, tell us what you need, what kind of skills you're looking for, and then ask our universities to train our young and uh, not so young, actually people that are looking for work to, to create that match so these jobs can be filled and people can start participating in the 21st century economy.